Hello, Grazies, and for everyone who doesn't know me, <laughs> then why are you here? I'm just kidding. So today I thought I would do some uh, very different kind of video. Shout out to We Fancy. <laughs> You guys know why. So I'm gonna be talking about five things I hate about the K-pop industry. I mean, I was never planning to do this video, but you know what? Sometimes I'm a human being. Things get dirty and raw. But watch till the end, for real. That's why you all know, fully understanding why I am creating this video. There's so many people that who love K-pop. Things seem glamorous, happy, fun. And I know that the songs that I put out, um, it's supposed to be like a really happy, popping video. But I know deep inside, everyone, not just me, everyone struggles in the entertainment industry. Now, this is just my personal experience, my personal thoughts, my personal two cents that I'm putting into this but a lot of people can relate to me a lot of people will probably relate the same number one I hate about the people who work here <laughs> just the mental breakdown that you go through trust me any any field of work is the same but especially in the entertainment industry it's really really bad it's all about bullshit confidence all about cockiness you guys probably know I talk about it a little bit that I used to be in a girl group training like back couple years ago not that long ago either and i remember there was this one time i thought i was like really strong in the mental field but there was this one time this person who worked at the company i think once a month or twice a month that we would do these tests and we would have to sing i do blame a little bit of myself as an artist because i wasn't strong enough um talent wise and i do understand the frustration that someone who is investing in you would have if your talent doesn't meet up to the standard so i completely understand at the same time if you're not a good mentor you're not a good mentor i mean that goes same for you there's this one person you guys i'm not saying i grew up like a princess but i, I never got be beat up mentally and physically in such a uh, negative and intense way that maybe i wasn't used to it i literally developed such such a bad depression and insomnia and after that incident where this person literally degraded me so much that I've gotten to a point where I had a mental breakdown. I didn't know how to, how to handle the situation. And I remember and for six months, I couldn't sleep because I had this such an anxiety and depression where someone was putting me down so, 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 so negatively. Where this person literally takes over your brain and the way you think and the way you act. And looking back, of course, I've gotten stronger, but when someone thinks they have the right to treat you that way, where you're literally breaking down and having a depression and mentally you cannot really talk about it with anyone else, I don't think that is a positive effect. There is a good mentor and a good role model, and there's a bad mentor and a bad role model. So that's the reason why a lot of people go into depression. Your personality just starts to change. Not for the better, in my opinion. There's a lot of people who will put you down, who will judge you, who think they know it all, but in reality, they don't have anything themselves. It is what it is. I'm sorry to say this, but when you go through like shit for a couple years, I mean, I just have to let it out. It's been a couple years and I am stronger and I know better and you just know how to meet the right person and someone who will mentor you and grow you really as a person and that is a good mentor. Number two I hate about the K-pop industry is money and income. I mean, of course in Hollywood, if you make it big, you don't need to worry about your life. But in the K-pop industry, the scale is a lot smaller. I mean, I'm not saying that in a negative way. That is a given fact that has nothing good or bad with it. In the K-pop industry, it's very like structured. Um, you're basically put in this little, you know, schedule and structured form where you can't really have too much freedom. So how are you gonna make income when you are a trainee? You basically rely on your parents and maybe sometimes if you're lucky, they do allow you to have a part-time job. You know, that is to a certain extent. Now, after you debut and things like that, how are you gonna make income? You really can't make an income unless you are kind of free to do whatever you want or you make it pretty big you know but even people who make it pretty big i know a lot of people who don't make too much income at all they have a hit song and they still don't make income so they do a lot of things on the side job and i see those people who keep on going i know a lot of friends who keep on going for years and years and i just applaud them it's so hard to live without a steady income and i 100 100 percent relate to that you kind of live with this hope and dream that one day you will make it big there are a lot of times when a lot of artists think that you know what nine to five job 
that would be like a dream. Just because you have a steady income, of course, maybe you don't have as much freedom or flexibility, but you want at least you could live. At least you could eat whatever you want. You could, you know, go to bed just knowing that you will have some sort of money to live for the next day. I know that sounds kind of silly coming from this fame and glamour compared to nine to five job, but that's the reality. I mean, I don't want to go too deep into this um, just because it is a sensitive topic. So, but that is one thing I hate about, or at least it takes a very long time. Probably 90% of the people in the entertainment industry relates to this. Number three, the waiting game. Someone said it's a constant proving game in the music industry. And that is so true. It's constantly proving yourself. You're basically on thin ice and you can break at any point in your life. So it's about wait in this long line or do you want to take the shortcut? And who knows what you have to do to get in the shortcut, if you know what I mean. You don't know when you're going to get the opportunity or the chance. It's constantly the waiting game and sometimes people just can't wait and they just break off and they go into different fields which I completely understand I really think the entertainment industry is 70-80% luck and it's not even about determination because everyone has determination like who doesn't like everyone has passion come on I don't want to be in this waiting game I really don't but that is one card that comes with you deciding to be in an entertainment industry so you get what you ask for Number four, the expiration date. I know you're thinking like, expiration date? What are you talking about? I don't know, maybe this could be just, you know, people who are old fashioned, who like to talk about, you know, girls have expiration dates or idols, which is true and kind of offending at the same time. In the entertainment industry, you know, people like young, new, fresh faces. I mean, by the time you're 30 and you've been trying and now you're too old, but at the same time you're thinking, oh my god, I've been trying my whole life and now you're telling me I'm old? Like, what the fuck? You're at this like awkward age where you're not too old, at the same time you're not too young. I'm um, just because there's just a lot of more young people and you're not that fresh face anymore. Kind of like in the other jobs and fields, you basically start up and as you get older, you get more experience and you're able to kind of gain that reputation and trust while in the entertainment industry, everyone likes the young, fresh, hip kind of thing. I mean, who doesn't? You know, that's what entertainment industry is all about. It's about selling. Number five is music itself. I just sometimes hate music itself. I started this because I wanted to sing. I wanted to make music. I wanted to just put out all the music that's in my head every single time anytime that I want but sometimes you just see people who succeed and you just have really great music and you just kind of compare the fame level, the money level and you just kind of go into this deep deep weird moment where you just kind of feel lost all the time and that's the point when I hate music and you think the music is the only thing that you will be free enough to do all the time anytime you want but it's kind of the opposite the thing that I want is the only thing that I just don't have power and freedom over and sometimes I just get sick of it I really do music is one thing that makes you really happy but it just makes you depressed at the same time I think it really depends on where you are in career wise and it's like I'm making this be good music I feel like but then there is these people you see kind of making it oh my god they probably like copied up this song they just made it really cheap and it's like why do they make it to make it and the music that I make just, I put so much heart and quality and love into it that and I get, get to never let people hear it and that's one thing that I, as an artist you just cannot stand it's a little bit like condescending but that's the hardcore truth so yeah these are the five things I hate about the music industry now I'm gonna talk about five things that I love about the k-pop industry i told you what's coming you can't have just hate you, just, you need to have love as well so i'm going to talk about the things that i do love do you guys like my outfit today i hope i don't get like trouble for making this video